Gemma, a spirited second half performance, but in the end just wasn't quite enough to get anything out of the game today. No, um, it wasn't, although I thought we might have nicked a point on the, the, the very last kick or head of the game from uh, a set piece, uh, but no, it wasn't wasn't to be. Um, do I think we deserve something? If it was down to work rate and effort um, and heart, yeah, um, but if it was down to dominance on the ball, probably not. Um, I thought Villa controlled it quite nicely from start to end. Um, but the chances that we did have, um, we made use of, and, and obviously Alex has is, is scored quite quickly, well, immediately, I think, from when they've scored their second goal, uh, which has just given us that little bit of impetus, a little bit of momentum. Um, but quite quickly, I thought Villa took control back again. And, you know, one thing that I, I will say um, from playing Villa today is that they're they, they are a class act and you know they dominated in terms of possession and created lots of chances, half chances maybe. Um, they have got some, some class players but you know what we did today is um, we were solid, we were solid defensively. Um, we played again um, with everything that we had uh, and I thought that uh, the girls gave a really, really very good account of themselves this afternoon. And coming to a stadium like this and only losing 2-1, despite being disappointed, you must take a lot from this and the players should take a lot from this. Yeah, I think they will. I mean, I think they're frustrated because, of course, we've been used to seeing a lot more of the ball, but um, they're also aware that, you know, having been promoted, that might not necessarily be the case. And particularly when you're playing against, you know, good teams, uh, of which Villa are going to be right up there, you know, that's 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 how it is this season. And so we've got to be prepare to uh, concede possession if you like uh, and just but make the most of it when we do have it um, but yeah like I said it's the first opportunity today that we've fielded almost probably at the um, you know the starting 11 obviously Tash Flint's still out um, but other than that I thought we'd you know we we're in a position where we've had a a, a relatively big squad so we've had choices to make um, but I thought it showed on the pitch as well because of the energy and as I say the heart that they they, they gave everything again um, it just just wasn't quite enough. And just on the injury front we saw Kelsey Pearson and Daniel Whitton go off at half time. How are they and what knocks did they get? Okay so Dan uh, I think she got a ball in the face actually so she was displaying potential signs of concussion so we took her off as a precaution um, which is a shame really because for the 30, 45 minutes the first I thought she was absolutely excellent um, so we'll continue to monitor that. And then with Kels, again, precautionary, when she felt it in her hamstring. She sort of had 25 minutes uh, a couple of weeks ago, been working hard in training, took it up to 45. So it was time for her to come off anyway, but again, it was rep precautionary, so I'm hoping that there's nothing too serious there. And you mentioned Dan Whitten there, one of the new signings this week. The other one we have to mention, Fran Stenson, made some brilliant saves. Yeah, Fran. Fran kept us in the game. Um, she pulled off some absolutely unbelievable stops today, um, but equally, you know, um, she's played a part in 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 the ball in the in the goal itself as well uh, in in our goal. So you know, of course, she's she's got qual quality and abundance, and uh, you know, she'll she'll really add something special to to us moving moving forwards.